Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and this is part three of my Buttons and Charms stash. So over to my left, I have a little miniature bookcase that sits on top of um, a nightstand. It's a three shelf bookcase and I have several of these uh, clear boxes. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They were on like an end cap near the, the jewelry and beading section. And they were like $2 each. And um, pretty much every time I went into Hobby Lobby, I would pick up a couple. So um, so these are, some of them are theme buttons that just didn't fit in the, in my other organizational method. But, you know, for example, this is my cat box. And there's no way that all of this would fit into one of those little photo boxes. Plus, there's so much that I didn't want to have to dig through. So, um, so we're just going to go through this real quick. So, um, I've got little mice. And in this one, I've got fish bones, a couple different variations of fish bones. And then milk bottle. And this one I've got food dishes. And it says kitty food. And then I have uh, little wedges of cheese, which is actually not good for cats. But um, anyway, and then a little goldfish in a fish bowl. That's what's in that one. And then these are just like a paw print where the middle is a flower and then the Little toe beans or little pink hearts. Um, there's two different colors. There's a, a lighter pink pastel and then there's kind of a, a more peachy color. So, um, and I got them to go with these words that just say meow. Um, I bought a lot of these. I bought bulk because they can be used on pretty much all the mosaics. So. Okay, and then I've got gold and silver paw prints. One of my boys is behind me playing with a plastic bag, so if you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. And then these are uh, glitter charms, as you can see, there's I think there was, I don't know, eight or ten different colors. I'm not going to fish them all out, but... Pretty much every color of the rainbow was included in this set, so, okay. And then in here I've got gold heart charms, and there's pink, blue, black, red, and white. And the reason these are in here, and not in my heart box, is because... I got them to go with these cat charms. So I've got white, pink, black, and blue. And they're in various uh, styles, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And that was, those were also bought in bulk. And so I wish that they had the glitter paw prints in gold, but they don't. They have it in silver. So... I use these gold paw prints. So when I'm going to do a mosaic and I want three metal items, I'll do a gold paw print, a gold colored heart, and one of the cats that matches the heart. Okay. So these were silver, and then these are also silver in, ironically, the same color as the cats, but the cats are gold, and my OCD will not let me do that. So these get used with buttons, um, and other charms. So, okay, I've got a bag of gold silhouette cat charms, um, either laying down or sitting profile or sitting where you're just looking from the back. And so I'll embed these in the clay. And then I've got a hodgepodge in here of silver cat charms. 
um, everything from this is something I got on clearance and it's actually like a pin but I would like take the pin part off and just embed that in clay um, I bought a bulk um, off of Amazon of cat charms but I'll be honest with you a lot of them are very weird and so there's a lot I don't use. And so I learned not to buy those in bulk anymore. So, um, I mean, this one looks like the cat's going to the bathroom for crying out loud. I mean, it literally, that's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. So, okay. Then we've got some different cat buttons up here. These... This, this style goes with the paw prints and the meows, that kind of thing. These are kind of cartoony. Cartoony, is that a word? I'm making it one. Because it was like pink and yellow. And then these are cute. These are just plain. I guess they're kind of a brown gray color. I don't know. I think these are buttons galore. And I also have these, which I really like because they're just silhouette. And those look really good on any color of clay. And then we've got cat faces. This is definitely a dress it up. I think all I have left is. Yeah, all I have left is brown and white. There's also a black and white and a gray, but I've used those. And then this is Kitten Caboodle. I even know the name of the set. So. And these are, nope, that's the brown one. So, cute little kitten buttons. So that's my cat box. Okay. Oops. Sorry, Garfield. I didn't know you were under there. Just stepped on a cat. And then this is my dog box. And I know I'm way zoomed in, so I want to make sure I'm still in the shot. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Well, move, silly. That's where my feet go. That's not where your butt goes, silly. Okay, so random dog-related charms, paw prints. I think these are all paw prints in this one. Yeah. These I get at Michael's. They're in the strung bead section. I <laughs> used them all off of that one. See? So it's just a chain with a bunch of little paw prints on it. And I cut them off with my shank cutters. Um, some of the paw prints from the cat box are also over here. So I divided my... I ordered like a hundred of each of these. So... Um, because they go with any, it doesn't really matter. So, and then some more of the silver glitter. Okay. Paw prints. More little paw prints. These are just little plastic ones. I haven't used these yet, but I would not bake them. I would not trust these not to melt. So, I would make an impression in the clay. Bake the clay and then glue it on after. Same thing with these dog bones. Really? All the different colors in there and I pull out two of the same color. That's like a lottery type thing. Tell you what. So as you can see, there's all different colors. Of dog bones. Same thing with these. I would not trust these not to melt. Okay. Over here is all different types of dog charms. I'm not going to show you every single one because there is a lot of breed specific. And then of course we got dog bones. There's a little wiener dog. Some more dog bones. Um, I don't know. I think that's like a collie, right? I don't know. And that's the funny thing about doing dog projects with the 
That's a poodle. So this was like a set of a hundred charms that I got off Amazon for, I think it was like 16 bucks or something like that. So, okay. Those uh, cartoony cats, they also came with cartoony dogs. Okay. And here we've got doghouse. Some random buttons. Come here. Come here. There's some paw prints. There's a food dish that I'm trying desperately to get. There we go. Food dish. Which can actually also be used for cat because it just has a paw print on the front. But it's specifically for dogs. So there's also... And that's pretty much all that's in that one. Okay. These are all different kinds of bones. I really like these glittery ones, but it just depends on um, what the project is. So, just whenever I buy these sets of dog buttons and they come with bones and paw prints or whatever, um, but they don't need to stay with the specific dog, so they all go in here so I know if I want a bone, it's here. If I want a dog house, it's here, and so on and so forth. This is another clearance item. This dog person, and then this, it, um, yeah, I don't even know what these were for, but, yep, so I have some of those These are more strung beads. I haven't used a lot of these, because they're pretty big. And if I do use them, I tend to do, like, one in each corner, so I'll use four, because they're, they're really kind of big. Okay, and then down here we've got the puppies. Oh, come here. Got a runner. So, a little gray puppy. A little black puppy. And a little brown puppy. And these are like little chunky dogs. They're cute. Chunky puppies. <laughs> These are all random dog faces. Got a chihuahua. Got a whatever the heck that is. Whatever the heck that is. I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm not a dog person, but I mean, I am. I love all animals, but I'm more of a cat person. So many different dog faces in here. And then these are random dog buttons. Um, all in shades of brown, it looks like. So, there was a method to my madness. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. You sniff in the ground. It's so cute. Alright, so all different kinds of dog type buttons in there. And then over here we've got white and gray. Hmm. This is in there because it's part of a goes with the poodles. So that's what's in this one. And then this is Buttons Galore, Dalmatian, and little dog faces. They should actually go in there. Alright, so that's my dog box. Oops. I mentioned in the previous video that I went through about three years of retail therapy. That is how I've acquired this much stuff. And I was also in a financial situation where I could afford to. Can't afford to anymore. But it's time I could. So. Okay. So this is my random animals, animals box. And it is totally random. So. Gonna cough. Gosh darn it, you guys. <coughs> so these are just like little... Um, cheetah faces in different colors. And then 
This is kind of my jungle section over here. Then elephants. The elephant buttons. And then I also have these in different colors. These are all different elephant charms that came in when I get the uh, grab bags. Or the mix of charms. The assortment. That's the word. Good gravy. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I should be in bed, but I wanted to get another video done before I did. My head's probably in there, sorry. So, random elephant charms. Okay. And then we got monkeys. And then panda bears. And jungle animals. Elephant, hippo, zebra, lion, and giraffe. Okay. Up here is, I don't even know what these are. Well, there's a cow. And I think that's a sheep. Just two random. They have a button set of farm animals. I haven't bought one yet because I haven't done a farm mosaic yet. But when I do, it'll go in that spot right there. So, these are my forest animals. Skunk, bear, squirrel, deer, owl, fox. Oh, and hedgehog. So, forest animals. And then, like, I've got a couple over here that need to go in that spot. A couple of bears and a moose. And these are some more of those kind of odd charms. It looks like it's a tiger face. Tiger face and a lion. So... They're just in here. I don't know. They might get like used in conjunction with the elephants or whatever. Um, I did a turtle themed box for our little girl a couple years ago. So I have a lot of... He lost his eyeball. That's so sad. Um, I have a lot of different turtle buttons. And then here. And then I also had... And these are all strong beads. You can find these in the strong bead section. Okay. And then these are my forest animal charms. Mostly rabbits. There's a fox face. Foxy face? I don't know. Like I said, some of these I don't even know what they are. That rabbit should probably be in characters because he's wearing clothing. But um, And then there's also black squirrel, which is weird. We don't have black squirrels around here, really. But Okay. Some more rabbits. These were stung bees. Thought they were a great idea when I bought them. Before I learned, you need to look for flat back items. So... Um, and those cats or rabbits, who the heck knows? I don't know. I haven't really used them on anything. I thought that I would use them like for feet on little boxes, but I don't know. They haven't really got used on anything yet. These ones did. Oh, I'm kind of out of them. I only have one left. These ones did get used as feet for a box. Okay. Bunnies. My sister-in-law is very into bunnies. I did a whole bunch of different wooden pieces for her craft room. And they were kind of bunny themed. So, you know what I like about these? The tails are actually fuzzy. I think that's awesome. So, um, bunnies. Um, nothing in that one. Got some penguins. I don't know why. Random. And then these are forest animals that I already have embedded in clay. And they should go in my ready-mades. But since I have room in here, I'm leaving them in here for right now. So. Okay, so that's my animal box. And then 
this is my beach box. Keep losing track of where I need to line my box up at. Okay. So this is beach, ocean, whatever you want to call it. I have a lot going on in this one. So these are all just like the funny... Uh, funny fish type. Yeah. Come here. There's a whale. There's a... Yeah. So, funny fish. There's a little crab. Little clam. These are real seashells. Bought a bag of them. I don't have a lot left. I used quite a few of them. They break really easy. Um, and then these are just little... Um, like resin charms, kind of. These would also, I would be afraid they would melt. I ordered a big set of these. And it came with a variety. The, most of the rest of them are in a different box, but since these were starfish, they went in here. Okay. An ungodly amount of gold charms. Seahorse, starfish. Little itty bitty seahorse. I think that's what this is mostly. Uh, there's some fish in here. The October before my father passed away. He passed away in April of 19. So in October of 18, we went on a cruise um, with a lot of his cousins. So there was like five couples and most of them I hadn't met. And I spent quite a bit of time doing an ocean-themed mosaic for each one picture frame. And gave them to them on the cruise. So, that's why I have a lot of ocean stuff. Okay. Seashells. These are all seashells. And I have to in this one. And then this is all... Anchors, sailboats, ship steering wheels. That's a mermaid. I do not understand the mermaid tail thing, just like I don't understand the putting unicorn horns on a bunch of different animals. I don't get it. That's in what's in that one. These are mini seashells. So, some of them glitter, some of them not. Starfish. Seashell, sand dollars. There's sand dollars in here, too. See? Real sand dollars. Great filler items for any beach-related. Um, this is a button set I used on a mosaic I made for my niece recently. Um, and there's actually a video of that if you guys want to go see. Go back in my previous videos and you'll find it. So, it, it came with... It didn't come with the faces. The faces I bought separately. After the fact. But it comes with two girls and a dolphin and a sea turtle and seahorse. And I have a stamp set that is very, very close to this. And so I was able to stamp out tiles and color them and then embed these. And then I used some of these for filler. And it came out really cute. Okay, these are more strung bead fish. Again, purchased before I knew to look for flat backed. So, but I've used a few of them. Okay. And we've got whatever these type of fish are called. Beta fish? I don't know. And there's several different color combinations. I haven't used any of these yet. Just recently acquired those. Okay. Then we've got some pastel fish. In various different colors. Again, we're pulling out the same color over and over and over again. Okay. 
And here we've got beach specific. So there's like a hammock, a sun, coconut drink, kind of a Hawaii theme almost. Sailboat. So, okay. And here we've got, there's a random beach ball. We've got bears. I don't know why. Come here. Yeah, beach bears. Building a sand castle. Got some umbrellas. Actually, the umbrellas should go in here. And then there's also a little girl and a little boy. There's a sand castle. There's shovels. Beach bag. There's a little boy. And bucket and pail. Bucket and pail. No. Bucket and shovel. Pail and shovel. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. And we've got lighthouses. That's all that's in that one. And I'm actually out of... That set actually comes with, like, seagull. A rowboat. Like, the pilings that you would... That are, like, part of a pier or a dock or whatever. Um, a crab. But I did a lighthouse-themed mosaic a couple years ago. Used up most of them. Haven't bought more. So these were strung beads. I thought they were interesting. They're like beach, water, and then a starfish. So and then these are more strung beads that are son of a gun. They're not sons of guns, just anchors. Okay, and then and here is. Some sunglasses and flip-flops. I can hear one of my boys. Most of my sunglasses are in with, like, girls' night out or whatever. But, and these would also play with the beach motif. And then these are bubbles. Um, two different kinds. Actually, I think there's three different kinds. No, I think I'm out of the other one. No, I'm not. I see one. Come here. Um, these make me think of Mickey Mouse. They're really weird because they're kind of shaped like his ears. And then there's blue ones. And then these are iridescent. So, these are really cute on mirror tiles. Yes, I stole that idea from Sarah. I asked her permission first. She was fine with it. Okay. So, that's Beach. Or ocean, if you will. And then, almost done, you guys. Well, kind of, sort of. All right, so this is my birds box. Um, okay, so we'll start over here. These are just... Funny, weird birds. I don't know. They were a clearance set. I picked them up. I don't know that I'd ever use them, but you never know. This is like a duck in the rain. They're wearing little boots. Little umbrellas. These are birdhouses. Simple style of bird houses and then matching simple styles of birds. Okay. These are some fancy fancy bird houses. Oh. Okay. Then we've got white doves. These are brads. More white doves. I cut the um, this part off. I cut it off with my shank cutters, and I've learned to go ahead and open them up and cut them. Well, yeah. So, because then you're going to embed it in the clay, but you don't want all that. So, okay. Um, 
These would be owls. All owls. Which could technically be in with the forest animals. But, no, I'm in the bird box. These are what I call realistic birds. I am not a bird person. Do not ask me to identify what they are. But they're realistic. Lifelike, I guess. I don't know. Then I got these little fat bluebirds. Which I kind of lean towards using on like a boy, baby boy mosaic. But they're in the bird box. So... Okay, charms. These are strung. I know for a fact that I got these at Joann's. And they're just a silver bird. So then I cut them off the chain. Okay. And these are hummingbirds. These are owls and as you can see they're on a chain so when joann's or michael's has their strong beads on sale for a good price that's the kind of stuff i look for and then i stock up because you know they're pretty expensive otherwise quit boys all right got flamingos got swans there's a gold owl this is part of the grab bag there's a gold bird of random charms and I just dumped them all out on my desk one day and sorted them all out by type um, these are I don't know a couple of random little metal birdhouses um, dove with the I don't know some kind of a leaf branchy thing and then these are Another type of bird. And then I have these random um, kind of feathers. Again, strung. And then also in the charms. They came with wings and feathers. So, there's some littler ones too. See? Okay. That's my bird box. Two more, you guys. And then that'll be it for this video. This is my bugs box. Okay. So up here, God, I made these way back in the beginning. I had done an impression of like some kind of a textured flower stamp. Colored it with mica powders, painstakingly, like colored all the flowers, different colors and everything. And then embedded a set of these bugs on them. And I have never used these. They'll get used at some point. Maybe on a gardening theme. That would be cute, right? Maybe I'll use them on a gnome project. Who knows? Um, we've also got... Um, another set of those buttons. There's a couple other little oopsie. A couple other little bees. We've got a snail. There's a frog in here. Ah, so. Lightning bug. Anyway, that's what's in that box. And here we've got ladybugs. Different kinds of ladybugs. And then below that we have um, ladybug silver charms. I think they're ladybug. Yeah, only six legs. So they're ladybug. Yes, I just counted the legs on a charm. How sad is that? That's what's in there. So that's ladybugs. Okay. We'll go down. These are like mini bugs, mini bees, little pink ladybugs. Yeah, just bees and ladybugs in there. 
But the set also comes with dragonflies, but I have those here. And, um, not that one, but like these ones. Blue and purple. And I have another couple other little button ones. And then these are, oops, got the dropsies, you guys. Um, strong beads again. Okay. Jump over here, some more. Dragonflies. Dragonflies? Yes. Um, these are ones you do not bake. Any of the ones that are silver on the back, do not bake. They will melt. I ruined an entire batch when I first started doing this. Because they all melted. So, so there's three different colors. A hot pink, a purple, and a teal. In different sizes. So, okay. Kind of went out of order there. These are more strong beads. Not strong beads, but strong jewelry findings, whatever. Um, so, when I cut it, I don't cut the whole loop off. I cut it up higher so that there's antenna, basically. And then I cut the, the circle part off at the bottom. So, and embed them in the clay. Okay. And then these are... I don't know. Just double wings. They're not, they're not really bug specifically, but they kind of work for bugs. And I have them in gold and silver. Got a couple other weird wings. And then these are little ladybug charms. These are a recent acquisition because they're very pretty. I haven't used any of them yet. The wings are like iridescent. You guys see that? Really pretty. So, I bought three sets of those. Yep. Okay, these are also little, just wings. But they could be little bugs. This makes a really great little filler tile to fill in a little bitty space because when you embed this in the clay, and then cut around it. It makes a very small tile. So. And then we've got bees. Some more dragonflies. These are brads. That I cut the loop off the back. And I have a couple other random ones that were part of a charm set. Um, but these brads came in gold, silver, and rose gold. I use those quite a bit. Okay. These are button dragonflies. Kind of big. Oh. Okay. And we've got this set. I left the flowers with the ladybugs because they're the same color scheme. Okay. These are gold bees. Again, in the strung bead section. Another version of Dragonfly. Come here. Just around. It's a round bead. Got some ladybugs with flowers on them. And some just regular. There's a little ones. So, ladybugs. That's all ladybugs. And then this last one is also these charms. Silver. Kind of a dark metal. Okay. So that's bugs. And I know you all are saying, but, but, but Sherry, where's the butterflies? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> butterflies have their own box and probably should be in two, to be honest. All right, these are in the strong bead section, obviously, because some of the strong, strong string. Hi, 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 you guys. Yeah, different sizes. I have hearts and stars and peace signs in the same style, 
And if they ever have flowers, I would buy those too. Um, but I will do on a project where I have four, need four things. Then I'll do a heart, a star, a peace sign, and a butterfly. Okay. These are... I think they're iron-ons, to be honest. They were on clearance. Got a whole big bag of them for like 40 cents. And they're just gold butterflies. And I would just glue that down. Just like that. Okay. These are all different kinds of butterflies. I mean, every different size, shape, imaginable. This was part of a charm set, like charm alongs or something like that. Also, some of them came in the grab bag of random charms, but all different kinds. All different kinds in there. Okay. These are another strong bead type. They're very delicate. They're, when you embed it on a clay, and you can see the color of the clay through the wings, it's really cool. So, I have several of those. These are some more random butterfly. Um... Just a random button. Just these are random. It's not a set. This is what came in grab bags of charms. So and little ones. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and go through them all. Oh, there's also um brads in there. And I believe there's gold and silver. So I would just cut the prongs off the back and embed that in the clay. Okay. More. Are these all the same? No, two different kinds. Just simple. These come strung together. Michaels, for sure, on those. I believe those were Joanne's. These are, they were stickers. And I'm really not sure if they're supposed to be butterflies, but they. I mean, because I don't think they would be flowers. I mean, I guess they could be flowers. But they look like butterflies to me, so they're in here. But I'm not 100% sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Is that a butterfly? Flower? I don't know. Oopsie. Some uh, mini little butterflies. Some are glittery. Some are not. Every color of the rainbow. All right. Honestly, these should probably go. I'm not going to do that now. I'm not going to fall down that rabbit hole. And I've got these. Again, every color combination known to man. All right. And the pink one. Okay. More strong. They're just gold butterflies with glass for the wings. You're not supposed to be in there. Are you? Hmm. Huh. I have some random ones in here. Interesting. Oh, I have some little gold ones. Look, you guys. This is why you go through your entire stash, you guys. This is why. So there's little, like those silver ones, but they're gold and they're smaller. And then a couple of glittery ones. That should go in there. Put those in there. And I just need to remember those gold ones are in there. Yeah, remember my iridescent dragonflies? I also have iridescent butterflies. I haven't used these yet. And I haven't baked them, and I would be a little worried about the, the iridescence melting. So I don't know that I would bake them. 
I think I would make an impression, bake the clay, and then glue it on after, just to be safe. Okay, then we jump down here. I have one random butterfly on a mirror. I actually can go up there with the rest of them to be put away at a later date. So I have some iridescent white and some little teeny tiny clear pink ones. I think there's some... There's some more versions. Can you have too many butterflies? I don't know. I don't know if you can or not. Pink ones. I like these a lot too. Okay. These are obnoxiously colored. Several different, basically pinks and purples, looks like. Yep. Okay. These ones, first ones I ever bought. So. Okay. And then these. I have these in dragonflies, I have these in flowers, I have these in hearts. And so if I'm using these for filler, I'll use a dragonfly, a heart, I have them in stars as well. But again, I do not bake these because they are silver backing and they will melt. They absolutely will melt. So, a few different, a few different colors. Looks like mostly pink and purple. And some green ones. Okay. All right, you guys. That's it for this section. Um, probably going to do flowers by itself. And then I'll do hearts, stars, and trees. And then I've got like four random miscellaneous. So one, two, three. And then that, that's four. It's probably going to be another six or seven videos, you guys, to show my entire stash. So I don't want to do too much all at once. And this one was probably a little too long. So I apologize for that if it was. But um, that's all I got for now, you guys. So we'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.